Well, I think the, the trade relationship is already there and it's likely to grow. But the, the question is China wanting to settle more of their oil purchases from the Middle East in their own currency. That's important for risk management. It's become more important, frankly, because of geopolitical risks that China now faces. And in this, in order for them to do that, they need to ensure that there's a large liquid renminbi securities market where the recipients of that renminbi can go and reinvest those proceeds. So yes, there is common interest in developing this market. We just had the chief executive of the government launch this huge PR campaign. Uh, amongst it, 500,000 tickets that are being on offer. What do you make of this a PR announcement? And do you think that people around overseas countries that they're buying into this? Look, I mean, there's, there's skepticism and there's been a little bit of negative noise in, in the press around it. I think the, the, the fact is the Hong Kong government has to do has to pull out all the stops to help the Hong Kong economy recover. We've been very badly hit by the prolonged COVID travel restrictions. The F and B sector, the tourism sector, the retail sectors have all been badly hit, and this is hurting, you know, everyday people in Hong Kong. So I think that these are important steps, and, and they're a signal that the Hong Kong government is quite serious about trying to get the economy moving again. Now, Aramco is a name that has been long pursued. You were formerly with the Hong Kong Exchange, uh, so I'm sure you're familiar with the pursuits that uh, they had uh, gone uh, to try and get that name over here into the city. Is Hong Kong more than just an IPO center? What can we have to offer to names like Aramco to come and invest and be uh, dealed up or partnered with Hong Kong? Look, I mean, Ho Hong Kong has been a, the most successful uh, IPO market in the world over the last 10, 20 years. But the, the fact is that the Middle East has plenty of its own capital. So what Hong Kong needs to do as a financial centre is to find a way of complementing what Middle East financial centres can already do for themselves. And, and I think in this, helping to get Chinese investors who still face capital controls and difficulties in coming offshore to international security market is one component of that. And, and also being able to provide international investors with efficiency in going into those markets is another part of that.